We will now use the path tool to find the stresses along a line. We will draw our path along the top edge since this is the location that we want to find our stresses. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the path tool for hoop stress only, but I invite you to try it for the axial and radial stresses as well. So let's start by right clicking on model, choose insert, and select construction geometry. We then click on path. We now have to define the start and end point of our path. By looking back at our dimensions, we find that the starting point is 1.59. So we'll enter that here for x and y. The end point is 2, 9, so let's center that here as well. Okay, so that looks like what we want. We will now tell ANSYS that we want to evaluate hoop stress along that line. Let's add a new result for hoop stress along that path. Click on Solution. stress, and then normal. Let's now rename it. We we'll call it hoop stress path. We now change the scoping method to path. Click on the yellow box and on this right arrow and select our path. Remember that we want hoop stress, so let's change the orientation to the z-axis. Now we click solve. We can now clearly see hoop stress as a function of radius. The maximum stress appears at the inner surface, as we predicted, and it goes down as we move in the positive radial direction. Now, this is fine for what we want. We can easily compare this result to the analytical results, but we can do more than that. What if we would actually want to represent the stresses like the figure prior to this window? So notice at the bottom right corner that ANSYS displays the stress value at every node along that path. Let's right click on that table and export the data. So you can select a location where you want to save that file. And we'll call it hoop stress path. Click save. Now let's find that file and open it. We have three columns, the node number, the distance of that node from the starting point, and the stress value at that node. Let's select the length and value columns and make a scatter plot. Note that I'm doing this on a Mac, so it looks slightly different than the Windows version. And there you go. You can always tweak our plot a bit more, but you get the idea. I'll save this file. And go back to Mechanical. And save our project.